So it's been a while since we drew some anime together, so today I'm going to show you step by step on how to draw Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Now for today's lesson, I'll be sketching with this black 4B pencil, but you can use whatever you have available. Let's start in the center of our page and sketch a circle to define the size of the head. We're going to start from the very top. I'm just going to loosely work our way around the left side. Just bring that back in towards the center. And then go all the way around the right side. Now you don't want to go too dark because I'll eventually want to erase this out. Now with our circle in place, we want to add a set of guidelines to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by adding a line coming down the center. So we'll start at the very top. Bring that line coming all the way down towards the bottom of our page. Now let's go out to the side of our circle and do the same thing. Coming down. Now I'm going to add one more line going across the bottom of our circle from left to right. Now we're going to be tilting our character's head forward so the eyes are going to sit along this bottom line. Let's start by adding a gap in between the eyes. So leave a gap, start on the left side, I'm just going to sketch a line going up. Let's take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now from this point we're going to step up and draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the left, towards the side of our circle. Line this up on the right and do the same thing, going up towards the same height. Now from here, I want to round out the side of the eye. From the side of our circle, let's step in. I'm just going to curve this around. And just pull that in towards that bottom line. And then we'll round out the bottom of the eye, coming down. And just pull that up towards the inside. Now that we've drawn in the eye shape, let's push the pupils towards the top. We're going to start on the left with a half oval down towards the bottom of our circle and then bring that back up towards the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's enhance our character's expression. From the inside corner of the eyes, we're just going to fold the brow coming around and then up. Now our character's nose is a simple line coming down the center. So start up here, a short line coming down the middle line. Step down, draw a straight line going across for the mouth. So the mouth will sit across this line. Now to figure out the width of the mouth, we're just going to line this up with the outside of the pupil. Come down, just mark this off. And do the same thing on the right. Let's round out the sides of the mouth. A little bracket. And we'll curve the mouth coming down the middle bend that back up. Let's locate the chin. From the bottom of the mouth, we're just going to step down, just going to mark it off right about here. Now that we have the basic detail inside the face, let's move out and draw the outside of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we're going to step out, just going to angle the head coming down and then in towards that bottom line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then pull that in. Now I'm going to round out the jaw and just curve the head coming down and just pull that in towards that center point. Go out towards the right, bend this up towards the jaw. And now we're going to place the ears along that eye line, starting on the side of the head. I'm just going to curve this around and just pull that in. Now from here we're going to sketch in the bottom edge of the hairline. Let's start from the left side of the head, come down and in towards the eye, bend this back up towards the top. Now we're going to work our way across towards the right, just adding these points coming in towards the eye, back up, add another point, bring this in towards the middle. Now right here we want to curve in the opposite direction, come down and across towards the left, Set another point. And again, we're going to switch direction, coming down towards the eye and up. We'll just pull this out towards the side of the head. Let's add some volume to the top of the head. We're going to start on top of the left ear. I'm just going to trace that circle on the outside. Going all the way around, 
just try to leave an even space gap going around the head and then back down on top of the right ear. Now I'm gonna place the hair points along this outer ring. Let's start from the very top. It's gonna to curve this out and up toward the left and then bring that back down. Now we can always switch directions as we go. Just going across, adding another point. I'm just gonna bend this down along the side and then go back out. I'm just gonna bring this down towards the side of the ear. Now we're gonna go back and work our way across towards the right. And just switching directions as we go. And one more beside the ear. Let's add a few more points in behind the ear. Now I'm gonna sit the head on top of the body. So from the jaw, let's angle the shoulders. Point out, and just bend that down. And then from the jaw, we're gonna sketch a circle, coming all the way around, just the collar back up towards the right. And then from the top, just draw two short lines coming down the side of the neck. Now we're going to place that mask across the neck. Let's start from the top of the shoulder on the left, curve this down, and then bring that in toward that center line, go up towards the right. From the ends, draw a straight line coming down, and we'll follow that same curve coming down and in towards the middle. Now from the bottom of the mouth in the center, we're going to step down, angle this down and out towards the left and right side. Now with our rough sketch in place, we'll go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Let's start with that inner circle around the head. Once we're happy with the proportions of our drawing, we're going to go back in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. Now let's start with the upper eyelid. Let's start with the left side, just darkening this up, and we'll fade that out towards the side. I'm just going to shade in the inside of the brow and just pull that up. Adding a little bit of shadow and depth. Just going to add a fold along the inside of the eye, coming down. And then we'll darken up the outside of the eyes. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow along the outside of the eye. Just blend that out as we come back in. Now going back and just tracing out the iris and pupil. A smaller oval in the center of each eye. And we'll darken up the top of the iris and just fade that down, going around the pupil. Now you want to add a shadow across the top of the eye, so we'll start with the curve and then fill that in.
Now from here, I'm gonna go in and start adding some detail shape to the hair. Add a little bit more detail inside the mouth. So I'll add the top row of teeth and then the bottom row. And then we'll darken the inside in between the teeth. Let's go back and add some shape to the head. is going to cast a shadow across the top of the head. So just add an even shade going across the brow. Now let's carry that shadow across the bridge of the nose. Just going up and then back down. Now the head's going to cast a dark shadow across the neck. So we'll start off dark along the top and then just fade that down.
go back and roughly trace out the contour of the hair. I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil and just add an even shade to the entire hair area. And this will help remove some of those guidelines we have underneath. Now we want to add a little bit of a shadow along the bottom edge of the hair. So we're just adding these points going across the top edge of the hairline. And then we'll go back and darken up the bottom area. Now we're going to work our way up and just add these darker spots.
Now, as we get closer to the end, we'll just tighten up our shadows and contrast and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Izuku. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also check out our other channels for more videos each week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.